know, you know, starting out, we're here talking about ourselves and how to build self-esteem within ourselves. But what about those that are moms? You know, what about those um, parents who have young females and young males in their house and they're trying to prevent yeah. the low self-esteem? Can you give us, you know, a couple of ideas as far as what we should be doing to kind of prevent it from even kind of festering to begin with? Is there anything we can do? For sure, for sure. Tools, tools, tools. And of course, be the example. So sometimes, you know, a parent might say, well, I don't know what to teach her or tell her to do. That's okay. We're not all meant to be experts in everything, right? Mm -hmm. We have our niches and that's totally fine. But if you can be the example, and for example, what I mean is, you know, don't stand in the mirror and, you know, destroy yourself verbally when your daughter is right there, possibly listening or overhearing at, at any age, if they're like, Two months old, still don't do it. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm so this. And, oh, I can't stand my this. You know, don't do that. Be the example while your kids are there watching and start to make that something that's true for you, not just a show because kids can see straight through us. They've got something, right? <laughs> They've got some magical thing. So they know if you're just putting on some kind of an act. So, number one, be the example. Really work on it within you. And as your daughter or your children watch, they will see and they will start to take that on. I would also say, um, role playing is really cool as well. Like, you know, when your kids have certain scenarios at school or certain situations to be able to role play with them, how can they act? How can they respond? This is a really great way to get your kids to feel prepared for things. Right. And of course, not only physically role playing it, but even rehearsing it mentally, let your kids get into their mind and all right, you're going to this new school. All right. Picture yourself walking down the hall. Well, if it's in my mind, I'm going to picture myself walking down the hall like this, right? I have that option. But if it's if I'm not consciously trying to practice in a positive way, then I'm just going to picture with fear, like, oh my gosh, they're all tripping me. They're throwing their books at me, ah, you know, and you go into a panic. So yeah. you want to encourage positive mental practice or mental rehearsal, as they call it. And you want to be able to do role playing with them. You know, if this happens, what could you do? What could you say? It helps to build confidence and self-esteem. And jumping back to affirmations for a second, if we start with our kids when they're younger, if you've noticed, our children, when they first, first start out, don't seem to have much of a problem with self-esteem. It's kind of like, hello, yes. it's me. I'm here. You're welcome, right? So that's a nice point to kind of start off with letting our kids understand that difference between being confident within themselves and making sure they're not taking it to the next level and actually being a little bit sassy out there and a little bit rude with it, right? But it's a great opportunity to teach the difference between filling themselves up with affirmations versus trying to show off. We can definitely teach them that really early to help them out. Definitely. We have a question from Charlotte. She says, this is great. My little one is three. Ooh. Any advice for the young, young, young ones? It's a young for one. Sure, for sure. I've actually been asked to work with a four-year-old before, which I definitely think is a little young for, for me. Um, but for parents, I think you guys have a great advantage to start early. So for a three-year-old, it depends if you're just talking about just wanting to build self-esteem. I would say a couple of things. Number one, if your three-year-old shows you something that he or she created, instead of just always saying, yeah, that's great, that's perfect, that's wonderful, you did great, pause and ask them, what do they think of the work they just did? So they're like, you know, mommy, mommy, look. And you're like, and are you like it? And you're going to be like, well, do you like it? And you'll still have a pleasant face. It's not like a military, do you like it? You're going to have self-esteem, not like that. But like, honey, do you like it? And then it'll be, yeah, I love it. What's your favorite part? Oh, it's pink or, you know, however much their language is developed. And then let them really love their own work first. And wow. then secondarily say, okay, because I do love it too. I just wanted to hear what you think, you know, so that they have the say first about not needing the validation of someone else to like. Wow. Them. Yeah. That's, that's so, that's so great. And so easy. So, incorporate. so easy to do. Oh, that yeah. almost made me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. So. I think that's a great a great start. And then also in terms of talking to your your three year old, you can do affirmations at night or even lists of appreciation at night before you go to bed or at dinner. <laughs> okay, stop don't make me <laughs> that was just so hard. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just see. I'm just like, you know, imagining, you know, these these young females, because you're right, you know, there is a lack, there's so much, so much of a lack of, um, 
of self-esteem in, in so many people, you know, just in general mm -hmm. and how easy that is to allow them because one of the biggest issues is just being comfortable bragging about yourself, you know, being comfortable saying, yes, this is great. <coughs> yes. What I'm doing is amazing. And if you can start that at such a young age with them feeling comfortable doing that, Wow. then the probability of them feeling comfortable doing that as they get older is just so much easier. Increases for sure. <clears throat> for sure. Yeah. And I think on that note, making a difference, creating a difference between like, we can use the word brag. I love it. And I love when you said it because it made me smile. But to our kids being braggy or, you know, conceited or arrogant, those are like, oh my gosh, they're so afraid of that. that yeah. They don't even want to say something nice about it. They don't even want to think something nice about themselves for fear that, oh my gosh, I'm being a show off or I'm being arrogant. Exactly. So the one thing I always draw for the kids is, listen, when you are saying, doing, thinking, writing, imagining beautiful, positive things about how amazing you are, when you're doing that in here, for mm -hmm. here, you are like planting the most beautiful garden inside of yourself. You are supposed to do that. That's like yeah. food for yeah. your soul. Like you need that. When you start to do it so that someone else, make sure that they know, make sure that they hear, make sure that they understand who I am and the neck starts to roll, you've entered a different territory. <laughs> you are not in self-esteem territory anymore. <laughs> so just to make that line, like, yeah, before your test, you should be saying, I'm so smart. I've got yes. this, I'm a genius. But you should not walk into class and be like, hello, <laughs> I got this, I'm the smartest, I'm gonna get the best grade, move out of my way, right? That's a different yeah. thing. So yeah. making that line, I think also at a young age helps. So hopefully Charlotte with her three-year-old can use some of those tools and do affirmations for bedtime. Tell me three things you love about yourself, you know, before bed or at dinner time. Let's do appreciation, um, things like that. Dane says, how do you balance being confident versus full of yourself, which is what you were just talking about. Okay. That is something I worry for one of my little ones. Ah, Okay. So I think once we get into a place of comparison and competition, I think that's when we're looking at a little bit more like I'm the best. So to me, that's a little bit more like it's all about me. Like I'm the best. Like bye, get out of my way. But when we say like I am doing my best, I am a good person. I am allowed to be smart and you're allowed to be smart. I'm allowed to be really fast and you're allowed to be really fast. And once we are allowing for me to be my best and I have an understanding and a, an expectation and a hope that you can also be your best, now we're in a place of love because we're not competing with each other. So I'm loving on me and hoping that you're going to love on you and I'm not trying to be better than. So to that's me, that's right. kind of the signal is if someone's trying to be better than the other, that's when I'm like, we're kind of in the, it's all about me and nobody better top me and nobody better trump my, you know, don't, don't, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is, dull my shine. Um, but we want everyone to shine. So I think if that's part of our lesson is that, you know, if you have more than one kid, then I would, children, I would say, you do your affirmation and they say, I'm smart. And the other one's like, well, I'm smart. It's like, that's right. Because there's plenty of smart for everybody, right? Yes. And there's a competition. Absolutely. Um, you can teach, I think. Yeah. I love that. I love, <laughs> I love that you're saying between two because that's a big thing. <laughs> yep. That's a big thing. And a lot of times they take opposites. Oh, yeah. Because there's not enough room. Yep. Or they think there's not enough. They room. think, oh, yep, perfect. Yeah. Exactly. They think you got to teach there's enough. There's definitely. definitely. That's great. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you think so is smart. your, uh, what? No, I'm saying like, you're not going to be so smart that you take the smartness out of the world. We can all be smart. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry about exactly. that. Exactly. I was going to ask, what do you think is the biggest myth? about confidence? Um, I would say a couple. I'd say one, I think people think you either have it or you don't. And I don't think that's true. I think it's something you can develop. Okay. Um, I, I also think it's, um, people say it's, you know, it's a sign of being conceited if you have, like, if there's too much confidence. I also think that that's kind of a myth. And to be honest, every time I've seen what someone defines as too much confidence, it's actually low self-esteem in disguise. <laughs> so it's, yes. uh, yeah. So okay. Like, because because if you think about it, truly feeling at ease and comfortable and just good in my skin, that that's that's what confidence is to me. I just yeah. feel really good. I'm thinking good things. I'm feeling good things. My self-esteem is right. And it shows. And the, the showing of good self-esteem is called confidence. Yeah. And if I feel really good in me and secure, there is absolutely no reason for me to try to step on anyone else. So the minute I try to be overconfident, and as the term is often used, I just think it's a sign of low self-esteem and I'm just trying to put on my show because inside I feel terrible. So I'm like, oh gosh, people are looking. 
turn the volume up. Hello, I'm here. And I'm like, oh, is that really confidence? I don't know. You know, so I always question that. That's always a big sign for me. If mm -hmm. I sit down in front of someone, they're like, I don't need to coach with you. And I'm like, why not? And they're like, oh, because I already have too much confidence. And I'm like, oh, that's exactly why you're here, honey. No, I don't say that. I don't say that. <laughs> I don't say that, but I am thinking it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that those are some of the myths is that you just, you just kind of born with it or you're not. Um, I think people think it's about competition in many cases. And I think people think it's about conceited or arrogance. And I, I think it's about love. I think it's about the way you display a love for yourself and a willingness to accept and allow others to be themselves. I think that is a true essence of confidence. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's great.